morning everyone, this is Andrea again. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily georeference an AutoCAD file into any GIS software. What you need is the AutoCAD drawing and you need a reference on the GIS. Here in front of you, you can see the AutoCAD drawing. It's uh, a site in uh, Syrian Azrim near to Idlib and thank you very much to Azalden to give me this file it's a newly developed site pretty precise and on the other hand we have our site in Global Mapper it's uh, taken from Google Earth Azrim Camp Okay, now we have the site in Global Mapper is georeference, and we can see also where it is. Aleppo is here. I forgot to say that you have first to put the right projection as usually, and as you know, the projection is going to be here configure and projection and UTM 37 North which is good for Syria of the site is properly located and now we open the AutoCAD site this one which is not georeferenced before opening the AutoCAD file you need to be sure that you close first AutoCAD on the other side, otherwise the program will give you a mistake. At this point, Global Mapper will not understand where to put your drawing because it is not georeferenced. It will ask you which type of coordination do you want, the projection, sorry, do you need UTM 37 North and it will put me the drawing somewhere. Here we have the georeference one, and here, zoom to, we have the older one. We can see what all what we have in this AutoCAD drawing. We have many elements that we don't need. We can delete them, so in order to make the system quicker, just select what you want to delete. This one we don't need. And also this one, so we don't need. We delete this one later. Okay, now we have one side, the non-georeference side, and on the other side, zoom to the georeference. And now we have to move the one over the other one in order to georeference it. So what we do? We navigate to the AutoCAD file and we select it completely. Select. Now everything is selected. We go with the mouse over it, we right click on it and we go on move, reshape and move. Now we zoom out as long as you will see the georeferenced one might be far away, you have no idea where it is, but it should, uh, it's up there. So we take it now and we move it up there, somewhere, fine. Now we zoom in again, select it again, we select it again, right click, move reshape move select it and we move it over it now we get closer okay now we start to see the shape same exercise right click move move we move on it and like that now we can move it and now we have to try to move it properly over it. Of course, it is not 
extremely precise but you will see this precision is also not really required we take for example this point here up to here okay and now we deselect everything okay it much little bit but we can see that the drawing on google earth didn't really match with the drawing of autocad but it doesn't matter let's see if we take the imagery how it looks like okay now here if you have a recent imagery you could still move around with your file in a better way we can do that uh, sorry it's here again select it shape we can rotate it little bit maybe rotate clockwise tick, 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 tick. minus five minus five okay it looks kind of better okay no. let's see right click on it again move move this point it should be this one let's see yeah, it's not that good but somehow it is now georeferenced why do you need to georeference your AutoCAD file for the reason that you need to do terrain analysis for example, watershed analysis, contour line, and then you can export all those files again into AutoCAD and work as usually in AutoCAD. At this point, I would like to remember you that the terrain analysis should be done before you start to develop your site. Before you start to develop your site, you should know the slope of your site, you should have an idea about the drain of your site and the location of your drains and, of course, location of the roads. Thank you very much for watching and listening and see you soon.